would would you think you struggled the most with when you started preparing for your FE exam? What were some of the like the difficult things that you faced? Oh yeah, everybody now. The most difficult thing about it uh, was the statics and dynamics, which are the basis of engineering, um, kind of what I was struggling with the most. And at that time, um, I was in 2011, 2012, when I took it, chemistry was on the FE. And I struggled the most. So when they took it off, I was ecstatic. And I was like, oh, yes, I can do it now. <laughs> And so, um, you know, 2019, when I uh, pick it back up, so I felt a little bit more com- confident when I took chemistry off of it because I just didn't do well in chemistry. But uh, status gave me a little problem in uh, dynamics, especially dynamics with my mouse. Definitely it was um, dynamics because on the, um, the second and third attempt that I, I've taken it, I unfortunately got a zero in dynamics. And I, at that point, I had to be honest with myself, like that I need it in order for me to pass the exam. I have to, I have to be more, be, be, be better at dynamics. I have to improve because it's going to, it's going to linger on and I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to go any further than where I'm at. So I just, from the time I, th- I spoke with you and Praneeth and us, and you guys are saying that go through that, uh, go the morning session, go through it again, go through the entire thing, take a practice exam, see how it works and go through it again. Try, try to be masterful at it. So I, I, I kept doing that until I was ready to, not to and, and in a position where, all right, I can take the FE exam or at least I can, uh, or at least go through the practice exam again and see how well I do. So I kept doing that and it worked out. It really showed that that was like where I was um, struggling with. The struggle that I had to face was um, I love to study. So the studies was very nice. You know, the path was very enjoyable for me because um, you learn at the school, you learn at the college, you know, when you're doing the classes and et cetera. But I think it was when I came back to study again, uh, it was my second chance to learn better, you know? So sometimes, uh, oh, I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that in college, but right now I understand, you know, how it does and how it, it looks, how we do. So you have a few, um, a few methods that you taught us in the course that I was like an amazing, like the zero force members. I learned that in a different way. So with your method, it was like easier for me. So uh, right now, I don't think in the past anymore. I think how you taught me, you know, and that was uh, a different way for me to learn uh, the same thing that I have learned like seven years ago. So uh, the challenge for me was to um, uh, control myself, control my anxiety, you know, uh, I was doing well with the studies. I was not getting as stressful. I didn't burn out. I took the time to study. I was studying for full time. I was not working. I was not doing anything else besides studying all day. So um, my main challenge was uh, the stress before the test. That was very, very stressful for me. It was very hard for me to deal. Uh, I went to do therapy. I do usually I take therapies and twice a month and my therapy said Andresa you need to control your nervous so you need to go to do meditation you need to go out to do exercise I don't know what you need to do you need to find something to uh relieve the stress so go to do something that you really enjoy and that you really like besides the study you know when you turn it off your computer you turn it off your mind and um that so that was my challenge i think it was my mentality was uh focus and say hey it's okay if you don't pass for the first time it's okay if you, if you failed uh this is only another step it's an non- another challenge in your life you're not gonna die if you don't pass uh at first kind of like a schedule kind of like like especially when i was with the landing bird book it was like i was just studying until i got to like a certain point of like where my brain couldn't like go anymore like I, I wasn't picking up the concept so then I would stop so like I didn't have like a very consistent schedule either when I first started so I think that was kind of like 
I, I wouldn't say it was tough because like once I knew which schedule, like the schedule, like I said, like once I enrolled in the course and then like we had like our student meetings and stuff and we kind of went over like the schedule. It was like, all right, yeah, I just follow this schedule. And then I just followed that one throughout the entire process. But starting off like with the Lindenberg book, yeah, it was like scheduling was kind of tricky for me. I would say that was probably the most difficult part. Yeah, like I said, like um, outside of scheduling, uh, pro I probably would say confidence. Um, like starting off, like to even start studying for it, like to get the confidence that like, hey, I can pass it, you know, like before I even bought the Lindenberg book, kind of like just getting over like thinking about, about it being like an exam that's covering four years of, of college work and stuff like that, like things like that. But I'll say, yeah, just starting off, starting to study. But yeah, once I started kind of the most difficult part, I would say would probably scheduling at the beginning. Definitely focusing. Um, I have never been one to still love to sit at a desk. So sitting down and just putting in those hours and studying was definitely difficult for me. Um, topic specific, definitely structural. I would say the long study gap. I, I graduated in 2011 and I started uh, studying back uh, in 2019. So that eight years of gap and being out of the college school for eight years and that most of the basic concepts which haven't been used in day-to-day -day daily life or practical life have been vanished. So grasping that thing was a little bit difficult for me. There were some topics that I did struggle with, like especially water with me was one of the topics that I just couldn't. <laughs> I just, um, even, even nowadays, I kind of get it. I kind of get it, but still it was just like, why did I do this? Why did they get the solution and stuff like that? So that was one, one of the major topics that I would always give up the first time around when I, um, the first time around when I took it with the other course, I would always skip that. Oh, I just need, I just need to, they only count the number of right, the number, right? So I'm going to skip it. So that was one of the things too, that I was just like not paying attention, not focusing on that. Oh, it's okay. I can miss those. Cause people would tell me, don't worry about water and you can miss those and you'll, you'll still pass. And so then I actually took their advice and it wasn't like that. <laughs> it wasn't like that. So water is one of the things that I did struggle because, um, yeah, it was just a tough, it's, I mean, overall, it's a tough material for me. It's a tough subject that I, that I would need to really fully grasp and all of that. So that was one of the things. The other thing was um, time management. Time management for me was um, a lot because I'm involved. I mean, I work and I go, I was going to, I was had just finished school, but then um, I was doing some classes at work too that I had to do for them. And then I was doing uh, I was teaching at a music academy. So then I was doing that too. And I had to fly out every other Saturday to San Francisco to teach. So that pretty much lost my entire, yeah, it would mess up with me because I had to prepare myself for that lecture to go study, I mean, to go teach them uh, in San Francisco every Saturday morning. So then that kind of threw some, so my time management, time management was one of the things that I did struggle. I feel like it was a lot of material. Um, there's a lot of topics. You know, some of the topics, uh, I didn't think classes, you know, five plus years, you know, dynamics, facts, materials. It's stuff that generally civil engineers do not use, um, you know, in the everyday work environment. So I felt that when I was taking the exams, those questions were in the first section, the morning section of the exam. So when I would see those problems and, you know, I would struggle to do those problems. I feel during the exam, I would have a lot of test anxiety, you know, thoughts where it's like, oh no, I can't do this, or here we go again. Uh, so I felt that that's where I struggled the most um, during the exams that I had taken. Um, and obviously the last exam that I took, that I did pass, that wasn't the case. I felt like I was better prepared. Um, and even if I didn't know the question, I just flagged it and kept going. And, you know, towards the end of the exam, I had a lot more time to solve those questions. And eventually I was able to figure them out or give my best guess of what the answer could be. Oh yeah, everybody now.